morning everyone. We ended up going to bed quite late last night because our schedule was out of sync. So we were driving till about nine o'clock and we had to eat, swim. Um, but we still, we still tried to stick to our current schedule, waking up at six. And it's a lovely morning here again in France. The We're having a morning relocation. I've just been on a walk in the forest and found 3.5 megabytes per second upload speed up at the, the top hill. of this hill. Yeah, keep going. Just at the top of this hill. I figured you go up, you find internet. So, oh, my swimming cushion is still attached to this. Oh, yeah. Stay on this side. I think it's going to be hot today. Yet another glorious day. It is so nice and so warm. Um, we're going to leave the van parked up here because it's just a short walk down to the lake. And we're going to take our paddleboard. I'm really excited to try the paddleboard on the lake because mm. the last two times we've tried it, it's been um, pretty choppy. And today is going to be like really nice and calm. I'm also really excited to try it in the heat because <laughs> last time we had to wear wetsuits. Not wearing a wetsuit today. I can't get over. I know. Yeah, I don't want to rub it in. But it's just. It's so sunny. <laughs> it's so sunny. It's crazy. Whew. The difference, like just a shock to the system. <laughs> we're only about like I don't know, like 40 miles south of Cornwall or something. <laughs> it's crazy, and then it's like 30 degrees here, and you just don't get this temperature in, in Cornwall, even in like the height of summer. No, I wasn't expecting it to be that immediate for a change because. Yeah, we're not that far away in terms of like geographical location from Cornwall. There's a one family here at, at the little beach and it's so quiet and peaceful here. While we're here, I don't think we can fly the drone because it's just not really fair. Um, but we can still get the paddleboard out. We've also just been traveling so fast recently. It's nice just to have a day where we're like, no, let's just put the brakes on, stop. We're going to stay here for a bit. And just enjoy this spot. Take some pumping, probably a bit out of breath. I'm gonna let Israel go on first so I can get my breath back. Um, but yeah, if you wanna get one of these paddle boards, we'll leave a link in the description. Tell you what, the paddleboard's actually it's so much easier on the calmer water. Because last time I did it, I was in choppy seas. Ah! Oh, so that, that was actually bad because I just I had a dragonfly fall on my wrist. It was really beautiful, but it scared me. Oh my god, this is actually bliss. Wow. I do wish we could show you by drone where we are, but I just think you've got to respect the silence and the peace, and there's other people around. They don't want a drone buzzing around. Also, it's a bit rude. Like, we don't know if they want to be filmed. So yeah, fly your drone respectfully, people. It's so nice and cool. Oh, so warm today. Oh. Yeah, this is why we packed the paddleboard. I'm so glad we did. We had to pack pretty light to fit in, but oh. This is why we did it. I'm gonna see if I can carry this. Last time I tried, I could barely pick it up. It's quite heavy. So I want this on your back, so okay. I'm getting hungry. You're always hungry. Listen from a camper, don't miss a hair wash opportunity when you might see one. Go for it, put your head in, get under that tap. <laughs> wash, 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 wash away. If you watched yesterday's vlog, I bought five kilos of potatoes for 198 euros. <laughs> so now we've got loads of potatoes. Gonna cook us up some quinoa potatoes. 
Welcome to my cooking show. Chop, chop, chopping in the summertime. We've been very restrained and not drunk our whole bottle of red wine. We've had it for two whole days. We're doing this new thing where, I don't know if you, well, if you've been watching us for a while, we definitely went a bit mad on the Guinness in Ireland. So we're trying to not like binge drink. It could be the famous last words though. So we're about to go into Belgium with Belgian beer. Starting up my potatoes. So I'm going to gently heat my pan, fry a little bit of butter in the hot pan. Got two onions there, popping the garlic in now. Going to put a stock cube in. Shut that, let that one sit and hopefully it will absorb all the water. It's been really nice having a chill day where we're not driving too much. I think we're going to do about a 30, 40 minute drive. This region at the Arden, there were some big battles during the First and the Second World War. Do Coca-Cola sans sucre. And a baguette, as if we didn't have enough bread already. We can't resist. Guess how much the whole shop came to? Three euros. Two euros. Less. One euro. Less. Less than one yeah. euro. 89 cents. Yeah, this is it. This looks like completely different to where we were before. Yeah. Quite I'm a lot busier. A lot busier. You know when you get somewhere and you get out and you just think, this ain't, this ain't our jam. Uh, so we just got straight back in the van and we're gonna head off to another spot. Not to be it's really Spoil nice here. It's really it's beautiful. It's so nice, but it's just some reason we're just not vibing it. I think there's, yeah. a, there's a group of people camping right there by the water. Yeah. So it feels like we can't really. It doesn't really. You feel board. like you don't really have your own space. Oh, this is nice. Lovely. Oh, this, is, this is heaven. So I'm so glad we moved. Oh. This is absolutely stunning. This is just so perfect. This place is incredible. It's just so calm and peaceful. Like damselflies flying around and we're just in this big valley with a river going by. such a beautiful evening it seems a shame to lock it out but it's starting to get late so we're gonna turn in this is quite a funky one look it's joined up looks like a bum <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why i just did that i want to see i wasn't sniffing it because it was a bum i just it's kind of like a good shape to put your nose in Crack the bum. <laughs>